Today we're going to talk about the power of augmented reality for learning and development. So I'm going to use this app that we created on the iPad to scan the surface of the parking lot. We're just going to look around with the camera. And I'm going to touch onto the parking lot surface right about here to place my 3D model. So now we have a full-sized two-scale model of a vehicle right here in the parking lot with us. What's cool is I can walk around this model now. I can check out details of this model. We can walk inside. Check out the interior. We can look through the front window. Now the real power of augmented reality for learning and development is not just placing a really cool model in the world with you, but it's being able to interact with that model. So let's say we wanted to teach somebody about the parts of this car. I could walk up here, maybe want to learn about the tire. I could touch a tire, it highlights it, it gives me a tag. I can touch the wheel. Oh, it's getting closer. You can touch the lug nut. We can also teach somebody how to perform a task. So here we have a toolbox icon on the upper right hand corner. I'm going to press that icon and it gives me a couple things we can do. Let's learn how to uh, change a caliper. So now we have step by step instructions on how to perform this task. So here we have highlighting what it is we need to remove, instructions on how to remove it. We even have a little video button that we can touch and a video player pops up showing us a demonstration on how to remove the lug nuts. I'm going to close that window and now I can hit the next step button on the lower right hand side of the screen. The wheel pops off and it tells us remove the wheel. And then the next step, removing the caliper bolts and the caliper pulls away and it highlights where those bolts are located, it tells you what to use and how to remove them. Now that's just the surface of what we can do with augmented reality. Give us a call. Let's talk about what we can do to make AR work for you.